Hallelujah. Your father has a dare for you today. Turn to your neighbor and say, this is GFCC. This is the assembly of the radically obedient. Walk up to another person and tell that person, borrow vessels. Not a few. Turn to another person and say, radically obey. Radically obey God. Even when it doesn't make sense. Can you still say it to another person? Radically obey God. Even when it doesn't make sense. Say, I will radically obey God. This year. Even when I don't understand. You may sit or you may stand. We'll soon get to our confessions. Luke chapter 5 verse 5 and 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 3. If you're sitting, sit as men and women who are daring to radically obey God this year. Luke 5 verse 5. Simon, we know this story. Answered Jesus who came and spoke to him. You know, said, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, can you say that? Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. We all know the story. Peter had been fishing the whole night, which is actually the best time to fish, and he caught nothing. And in the daytime, Jesus came and told him to launch into the deep. Anybody that fishes knows that that time, Fish have actually gone down deeper, so there is no need, there is no way you are going to get anything. But in order for Peter to obey Jesus, he had to set aside his mind as a seasoned fisherman. He had to go against everything he knew in order to obey that instruction, and we all know how that story ends. This is a year of acting, not because of what we have always known. It's not a year of acting because it makes sense to our Stanford, Oxford, Cambridge educated mind is a year of acting because it's the word of God and today I'm asked to come and announce to you that overflow is tied to radical obedience like Peter God will begin to call some of us to do things that go against our experience that go against our education that go against our expert knowledge once you are convinced that it is your father speaking Put aside your experience, put aside your education, put aside your knowledge and act on the word. And say like Peter, nevertheless, at thy word. Because radical obedience is key to overflow this year. What do I mean by radical obedience? Very quickly. It's doing what God says, when God says it, how God says it. It is, this year, every instruction you follow is a borrowed vessel. The way you carry out that instruction is a borrowed vessel. The manner you carry out the instruction is a borrowed vessel. The, in the intensity with which you execute the instruction is a borrowed vessel. So when God is telling us, borrow vessels, not a, a few, He's calling us to radical obedience. This is a year of acting and trusting God completely. Not because you, even when you, you are like Peter, he said, I've always done this. I've walked here all day. I've walked all night. It did not work. If God says, go back there, pack your things and go back there. Because this time around, you're going to have a net breaking, friends calling, boat sinking miracle. And it's called overflow. Radical obedience is acting promptly on the word of God. So don't aim to be creative this year. Creativity is not needed. We are in the middle of our 40 days fast. Aim to hear and then obey. Don't worry about your creativity. Don't worry about what your mind can do. Once you hear, run with the word. Second Kings that we mentioned, Elijah, Elisha met the widow. And she gave her, her story. He said, go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors. Empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. Can you say it to yourself as a command? Say, borrow vessels. Call your name, ENA, borrow vessels. Not a few. Yes. Now, we don't really understand how difficult that, that instruction was. Because it's going to be difficult. God is going to ask you things that will be difficult. We just hear Elisha telling a woman, go borrow vessels. This is a woman who knew she had nothing. 
Her neighbors knew she had nothing. Her sons knew she had nothing. So what on earth are you doing with empty vessels? And yet she's going around asking people for vessels. But she had to walk like Peter. Nevertheless, at thy word. And at the word of God from the mouth of the prophet, she went around borrowing vessels and encountered overflow. Her radical obedience unlocked superabundance for her household. This is a year of prospering by instructions. Our father said that. What do you have in your hand? What is in your house? Because even if it is as small as a pot of oil, God will use both what you have and what you don't have. And it will multiply it if you would only act on the word and pour the oil. It will overflow and super abundance will overtake you. Now, do you remember the story of Elisha and the king Joash? He came and said, my father, my father, because Elisha was dying. And the man told him in the course of their interaction, strike the ground. And the king carried the arrow and struck the ground three times. Three times, three times, Elisha cried. Because this was a man that understood the dynamics of obedience. Say, so you should have done it five or six times. And you would have completely annihilated your enemies. This year when God says so, get busy sowing until you hear the next instruction move. If he says dance, get busy dancing until you hear the next instruction stop. If he says jump, get busy jumping until you hear the next instruction Otherwise, you will be like Joash, whom was told, who was told, strike, and he struck once, twice, three times, and that was it. Sometimes he may say so to the end of the month, but if you just say so, what are you going to do? Get busy sowing, because when God speaks and we get busy on the, carrying out that instruction, God takes over. I want you to stand up and say this to yourself, this year I am walking in radical obedience like you don't understand overflow surplus surplus super abundance the answer to radical obedience that's all i was asked to come and announce to this assembly today that this year the key to unlocking this is going to be very personal as much as corporate but it's radical obedience when you hear jump jump till you hear the next instruction say this year i will focus on obeying god I will abandon myself to every word that God speaks to me. I refuse to be creative. I choose to be obedient. My capacity is enlarged to receive all that God is giving. Say, I am not my limitation. Nothing puts boundaries on me. Say, this year, I am accessing my overflow by radical obedience. I will obey in spite of my objections and human wisdom. I will obey even when it doesn't add up logically. I will not worry about what happens next. I will simply obey God. And leave the rest. Say this year, I am counted amongst the radically obedient. I refuse to let complacency and disobedience rob me. Partial obedience and delayed obedience will not cheat me. I put aside my selfish pride and personal desires. My miracle of superabundance is certain because God's word never fails. Say, I am radically and unapologetically obedient to God. I am spreading out. I am thinking big. I am stretching out. I am preparing to take over whole nations. God will use me to resettle abandoned cities. I am not afraid because I am not going to be embarrassed. I am not going to come up short. 
So I refuse to hold back. And because I am willing and obedient, I will eat the good of the land. Just raise your hands and ask the Holy Spirit, I receive grace for radical obedience. Begin to speak in tongues. I receive grace for radical obedience. This year I am walking in radical obedience. This year disobedience will not rock me. This year partial obedience will not rock me. This year delayed obedience will not rock me. I cannot be like another Joash. I will get busy, focus on believing and obeying God till I get the next instruction. I am walking in radical obedience. I receive the grace for radical obedience because I'm accessing my overflow by obedience. I'm accessing my superabundance by obedience. No one will rob me. Nothing will steal from me. I will not limit myself. I won't be my own limitation. I receive grace for radical obedience. Grace to hear and act on the word. I cannot be like those who hear and do not act. I am going to be a doer of the word this year.